Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God in Jesus Christ, whose correct and proper names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom wa Barakatham to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world unto the men, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine unto you, I say Shalom. Get as far as possible, excuse me, get as far from this place as possible. Okay, and, and I'm going to have to put in um, parentheses spiritually. All right, get as far away from America, Babylon as possible spiritually because, you know, Jake's out there that think that I'm literally talking about getting far away from this place because it's going to be destroyed and the turmoil and the, the, the chaos is coming to this place. You have because you can do that, but there's no escaping your judgment. All right. And this is the land where the majority of the Israelites are going to be delivered. So you can run if you want. But I'm not talking about leaving this place. Literally, I'm talking about spiritually your mind. All right. Getting away from this place. You got to get as far away from America. The 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 um, the witchcraft of America, the um, the uh, uh, all the traps and snares that are out there for our people, for Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Get as far away from this place as possible. Because this place is going to destroy you. He's got even Jake's in a circumcision. Jake's that Israelites that know they're Israelites that do that push this, uh, 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 push this truth. They're they're caught up in the folly of America, all right. And they're and they're and they're only fooling themselves at the end of the day. And but they're fooling people that follow them. Okay. So it, it, it just because you're in the truth, that doesn't mean that you're not caught up in the folly of Babylon. All right. You got Israelite groups out there that's that's into all kind of folly that uh, that America pushes. You know, uh, 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 rapping and you know reality shows and you know um, uh, just 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 trying to promote Israel on some worldly shit when this is only really for the elect. Okay, the, your your job as a prophet is to wake up the elect. All right, because this place has completely destroyed our people. Our people are are, are gone. Okay, but that's why we have to. Um, that's why I, I'm pushing in this lesson. Get as far away from this place as possible. All right, yes, of course, we live here. We have to, um, you know, we have to uh, uh, try to survive here. We have to work. But at the same time, you know, you 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 can't get caught up in all the bullshit. You know, you got Jake thinking that everything is going to be all right, that everything's going to go back to how it was when things are only getting worse. All right, behind the scenes, this devil Esau is, 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 is really busy working his witchcraft, okay, We're working on ways to deceive uh, the people. All right, if you fall into that trap and that snare, you're going to be destroyed right along with these Edomites, right along with these heathens out here. So let me hop right into the scriptures. Um, first scripture I want to grab is Micah 2 and 10. It, uh, and it reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. All right, this place is completely polluted, not just literally polluted, but spiritually, uh, uh, it's spiritually polluted and it mentally pollutes our people. All right, it shall destroy you, and a two thirds of our people are destroyed. All right, have, if, if it wasn't for that remnant that's coming back to the Lord, a hey, like the scripture says, we would have been at Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, even with the sword destruction, and the main destruction is coming here to America. Other parts of the world are going to be destroyed too, but the main destruction is here. So if you want to be redeemed and saved out of the, the the destruction, you gotta you gotta depart from this place. You gotta depart from everything that America is about. All the wicked philosophies, uh, um, all the uh, uh, um, all the, um, you know, the, the things they push in the media about this, you know, this thing that's going on and taking, taking the, you know, I can't even say it because Esau is so ready to strike brother's pages, but you got to depart from all of that. You can't fall into the snares. You can't fall into the lies that Esau is pushing because it's, 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 it's really, you're at the end of the day, if you, you're, you, if you follow Esau, you in, 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 in fear what they can do to you, you, you fear them, not the most high. You're supposed to fear the most high. Okay, that's where the beginning of wisdom comes. Or right, fear, fear the Most High. And a lot of Jakes out there, they wanna, they wanna, they wanna do both things. They wanna be in the world and be in the truth. You gotta, you gotta choose. Okay, you you can't you can't you can't choose. You can't uh, serve. Let me get that. You can't serve the Most High Amendment. All right, and 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 that's what it really boils down to. You know, 
That's why a lot of Jakes in the truth can't depart from this place because they 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 still want to serve their own belly. They still want to serve, uh, uh um, they 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 want to serve their own belly. All right, instead of the Most High. This is uh, Matthew chapter six and verse uh twenty four. Um, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. You can't do it. All right, you, 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 that's why you have to depart from this place. You, you can't get caught up in the bullshit here in America, tr trying to chase after money, chase after uh, fame, uh, chase after, uh, you know, excuse me, these worldly things and still think you in the truth. All right, you have to give up your life, all right, for, for, for your house shot. Okay, for, for this truth, for this, for, for the, for the doctrine, for your, for, for the doctrine of your house, your house by shot. All right, and a lot of people, they, they, they put on this facade, they put on this front. Like they're down for the Lord, okay? But really, they're down for themselves, okay? They're down for um, pleasing themselves, okay? Um, hey, what was that scripture? Uh, let me grab this in First uh, John. First John um, two, because they really a lot of these jakes really love the world. That's why they can't depart. They can't depart spiritually. All right, it, it's it's something in the world that's that that's pulling them back. Okay, you know, and a lot of the time it's just money. All right, it's 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 a sense of comfortability. All right, it's a sense of being comfortable. All right, you, hey, when you come into this truth, you're not supposed to be comfortable. The Lord didn't call you into this truth. All right, to open your eyes for you to be comfortable. He told, he, he brought you into this truth to take you out your comfort zone. All right, to show you to show you the righteous way, the righteous path. Okay, actually, so let me grab this real quick, and then I'm gonna get. This is uh, 1 John chapter um, 2 and verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If you love if you love the world, you don't have to love the Father in him. You really don't love Yahweh Shah. All right? You don't love, you really don't love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Even though you may call upon his name, you don't really love him because you love the world. You love what the world has to offer. You love what Esau has to offer rather than Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the father, but of the world. All of those things, the lust of the flesh, you know, wanting after things, lusting after things that you want, that your flesh wants, not the things that you need. And, and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but of the world. And the world passeth away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. All right, those Elect that's going to do the will of the Most High, going to buy forever, going to live forever, all right, in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Oh, let me grab this. Uh, this is in Jeremiah. Um, six. Let me look it up real quick. Six and sixteen. Oh, it says, um, Jeremiah six and sixteen. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the way and see and ask for the old path. That old path is this truth, that this knowledge. Wherein is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. I went back to the scripture in Micah uh, two and ten. Um, this is not your rest, all right? In the old path is where you're going to find rest for your souls. But they said we will not walk therein, okay? Hey, that's two-thirds of Jake. They, they, they really, they, they act like they're seeking the old path, but they, they don't want to walk, they don't want to walk the uh, walk, all right? They don't want to walk in the old path. They want to do what they want to do, all right? Thus, th thus the Lord is going to destroy a lot of Jakes, and, and starting with Israelites, okay? Starting with Israelites in the circumcision that know they're Israelites, all right? You're going to see a lot of Jakes get jacked up, Okay? And like I was saying, yes, we have to live in this life. We have to live in this world, Esau's world. We have to, you know, abide by, you know, certain rules in this wicked ass society. But, you know, we're not supposed to, we're supposed to, um, what says, you're supposed to use this world, not abuse this world. All right. So use these things to your advantage just to get by, but don't abuse it. That's what a lot of Jakes is doing. They abuse this world instead of using it. All right. Um, what's that? First Corinthians. Seven and verse thirty-one. 
and they that you they, they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passeth away. So the, hey, use this world, you know, use the things to your advantage. All right, but don't be a uh, gluttonous. Don't just you know go overboard with it. You know, do what you got to do to get by, get your daily bread. All right, if the Lord opens up an opportunity for you to 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 better your situation, do it. But at the same time, don't get caught up in the in the money and the folly and in, in, in the bullshit of this world because. Hey, next thing you know, you'll be doing that more than doing this work. You'll be doing whatever that pleases you more than uh, 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 reading and studying and, and doing the work of the Lord. Okay? Because that, that's, the, you know, you yes, the, it's the Lord is about balance, but the Lord wants you to be more uh, about his business than anything else. Okay? So, um, let me see if I had anything else. Yeah, but, you know, you got to get, you know, uh, 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 far away from this place as possible, and like I said, spiritually, not 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 physically, because this is coming. This is coming where our people are literally going to be beating up out of this place. This is um this is talking about Babylon, Revelations um fifteen, excuse me eighteen and um um I started four, and I heard another voice. And this is talking about literally our people being beamed up. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. All right. Come out of her literally. All right. Our people will be, the elect is going to be um, beamed up out of here. All right. Because America is going to be destroyed. America is is, is currently being destroyed. It's, it's spiritually destroyed right now. Okay. But when the physical happens, that's when you don't want to be here. That's when Yahweh yeah, Shai and the angels come back. That's why you don't, that's why, that's when you want to get beamed up out of here. Okay. So, but first, First, before you can physically get redeemed and receive salvation out of this place, you got to depart from this place spiritually. All right, you have you can't man anything that belongs about. Hey, you got to say fuck it, man. You know I'm not with it. Okay, because hey, there's gonna come a time, real soon for a lot of Jakes that they're gonna have to make a choice. They're gonna have to make a choice on who you're gonna serve. Um, let me get this. Uh, Psalms 94 and 16, who will rise up against me, who will rise up for me against the wor workers, excuse me, against the evildoers who stand up for me against the workers of iniquity. It's going to come a time where you jakes that, 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 that know you're Israel, Israelites and, you know, you follow the Lord. That's going to come a time where you're going to have to stand up for the Lord and he's going to stand up for you. But hey, he's going to test your faith. All right. He's going to, and your faith is going to be tested. But if you, if you, if you still got a foot in Babylon and, and, and a foot in the truth, all right, you are pretty much already you already made your already made your decision. All right, you already made your decision who you're going to serve. That's why you got to depart from this place. This is Joshua chapter um, twenty-four and uh, let me see. Trying to find the scripture real quick. Um, this is uh, Joshua twenty four and fifteen, and it is and, and it is seen, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Choose ye this day. That 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 day is coming again. All right, where you Israelites are going to have to uh, um, decide who you're going to serve. How about Shemiah or Shai or this beast? All right, so hey, we're coming into um, we're coming into perilous times. We're coming into tough times for our people. All right, so if you if if you don't depart from this place spiritually, mentally, you're going to get taken out with this place. Okay, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto you. How about Shemiah or Shai, Hashem, 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 Hashem